Hey guys, today I'm going to react to Yuri on Ice episode 6. And uh, before we start with the live reaction, I want to let you guys know this might not, uh, this not what include you guys that are watching this in the future, but if you guys are watching this the day I upload this, um, I'm going to be uploading this on my backup channel right now because my original channel, my main channel, my DBZ Cuban React channel, it got taken down for copyright reasons. I'm trying to get it back up, so hopefully it'll back, uh, be back up sometime soon. So that's why I'm saying it might not affect you guys if you're watching it from the future. But from now on, until that channel gets back up, I will be uploading on this channel, which is my DBZ Cuban channel. It's my backup channel, so please do subscribe to this channel if you're not just yet. I will be uploading from now on until I get that main channel back up. All of my uh, videos up here, I'll be uh, uploading my gaming videos, I'll be uploading my discussion videos, so please do subscribe here if you have not just yet. And then hopefully sometime soon, my main channel will be uploaded then, and I will re-upload this onto my main channel so you guys can watch it all together with the whole entire playlist, which will be awesome. Hopefully we get that as soon as possible. But anyways, from now on I will be uploading this on here. Uh, so that's the important message I just wanted to talk to you about. Um, I'm also not feeling I'm not feeling well today. I'm a little tired. I got a, I'm a feeling a little bit lightheaded, but hopefully this will cheer me up and make me feel better. I mean, Yuri on Ice always makes me feel better. It's such a great anime. I'm really excited to watch this again. It's been a while since I even talk about it, just because my main channel has been down, so I haven't been able to reply to your comments or anything like that, so I haven't been able to geek out with you guys in the discussions and the comments anymore because of that reason, so I missed you guys. I really do miss you guys. I miss geeking out with you guys and just talking about your theories and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to stop wasting you guys' this time, and let's just dive in with this week's episode. So, in the previous episode, I'm not sure if it was in the previous episode or not. Was it the previous episode? Yeah, the previous episode is where there was a lot... Like, Yuri finally dis developed like this technique where even though he fails, he makes it look like beautiful and he goes with the beat because he found that out with his... Uh, well, this guy who, like, looks up to him, forget his name, what is his name? Jesus, I forgot his name. The Nugget guy, you gotta call him, like, a little Nugget. A lot of you guys call him Nuggets, because he looks like a Nugget. <laughs> it's kind of cute, I love that nickname, I'm gonna call him that from now on. But, I forgot his exact name, but he looks up to Yuri, and he feels, like, he felt bad that Yuri... Like, his, the person he looked up, like, the role model, like, was, like, kind of giving up and all that stuff, but then, whenever he said, like, I don't know, it's difficult to explain, like, I can't explain it, I'm really tired, I'm feeling really lightheaded, so I can't explain it, you guys know what I mean anyways, uh, but, he felt bad that his mentor was, like, down, like, the person that he looks up, like, and now he gets to meet him, and he's not the same person that he looked up to. I don't know, it was just, it's difficult to explain. But anyways, through that, Yuri managed to... Oh no, now I remember, it's been a while since I've seen the episode. Yuri actually dedicated his love in the previous episode. That was pretty sick. Ignore everything I said before. Everything I said before, I was just me just forgetting and everything. But I finally remembered. I gotta come back. I got back up. Now I'm finally like 100%. Well, not 100% just yet, but I'm, I'm back. They're going to China right now, I believe. And this is where he's going to uh, go up against uh, his Thailand friend. Leo de la Iglesia. I like that name. So he got first... In America, this is Canada. Ooh, Yuri! Yuri got second in Canada. Oh yeah, he made love the theme. You know, I, I remember, 
I read one of you guys' comment, and one of you said that it, Victor doesn't know Japanese, and that's why sometimes he's lost. I, I, I don't... I, I mean, like, that is a possibility. I never even thought about thinking about that. I thought it was maybe because just Victor's so oblivious. He just doesn't care and ignore stuff. But no, it's because he just doesn't know Japanese. I mean, like, that kind of makes sense. Duck blood. Is that Jello? <laughs> There's PT. Oh, he's twenty years old. That's his old mentor, right? This guy's from China. Oh, Lily Iglesias, this is the one dude that we saw before. Oh, so they're all friends. They're, so, they're all familiarized with each other. Twenty seven years old. <laughs> Yo, did Victor just strip? <laughs> this is kind of R rated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn down. Not in public. <laughs> Look at Victor. Yo, he looked like so fucking photogenic, and then you saw Yuri. <laughs> Yo, Yuri is a player. Jesus, he has all them boys all up in him. For real. <laughs> Wow. Excuse me, guys. What is his theme? He needs to qualify at least second or higher to qualify, uh, to go up. Go ahead. So I'm guessing he's going to get second. That's my guess, because obviously Yuri's going to get first. I mean, he's the main character. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Wow. You know what? I had a dream about something like this before. I don't know when it was, but I had a dream about, like, like this was before Yuri on Ice came out, but I had a dream while back about an ice skating anime. Now that I think about it, I don't know why, but it's just I had a weird deja vu when those quotes like about like him him and that song and how that movie inspired him. I just had a weird deja vu. That is weird. I'm pretty sure it was in a dream or something like that. Wow. Have you guys ever had that moment where it's like a weird deja uh Deja vu. Yo, he got the crowd wild up, and even though he fell, he twisted it up and made it look like it's amazing. He made the music his own. Yuri's learning a lot from watching other people skate, and that's helping him evolve and grow. He's taking... 
that same passion that other people have and those that same techniques and the way he makes people the way people make music like their own and stuff like that and turn it into a performance and make it amazing like that and it's helping Yuri grow This was the guy from China that we were introduced just a little bit ago. Or at least I think it was China. I didn't I wasn't able to catch it. Dang. Wow, so he's feeling the pressure of being Victor's student. i never seen Yuri like this. Yo, why do they always show food? At least I ate before this, but for real. I believe it was last episode where I was like starving and I was seeing that and that made me super hungry. Like, it's fucking tease. I love how they have that interaction before every single performance he has. Don't ever take your eyes off of me. Yo! I, I th Yo! I was unsure about the enemy towards the beginning. What flipped his switch? That this enemy wasn't going the whole gay route, but it's a hundred percent conformed now. Yo, know, the way he interacts with Victor right now, it's almost like they're a fucking married couple. No doubt about it. Wow. Change for him mentally. Very true. Wow. Something snapped in Yuri. Excuse me, guys. Whoa. He made it. Is he going to be able to land it? He nailed it. Wow. Yo, that was almost a perfect performance. No, it was a perfect performance. He pulled everything off perfectly. Whoa. Yo, jealousy can drive someone. That was Yuri being jealous. He wanted to show that he deserves Victor's love. That's what he did right there. That was perfect. Yo, there you go. Victor said it himself. <laughs> I love Chris's quote. <laughs> he said, are you going to kiss and cry together?
Hmm. Made it first place now. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Did you see the 127 year old? His eyes were like straight up like blue. He's like, shit, how am I gonna top this? Oh, it wasn't that he had blue eyes, it was just the makeup he had. Oh, okay. So now he wants to be... He wants to take Victor's old spot. Wow. Interesting. So that's what his theme is about. Is he crying? Is he crying? Wow, this is awesome. That was an awesome performance. He is currently second place. Aww. This is the one dude with the Hispanic name. Ooh, I like this song. Wow. Yo, he's definitely American. So he's the best skater out there right now? Is that what they meant by saying that? I like this song. Oh, wow. You know, we all have that one song that help us push through a dark moment of our life. We always have that one song. For me, it was uh, Beautiful by Eminem. Uh, but like, I feel like everyone has that one song, just like him. That pushes through a dark moment in our life. You know, I would like to, to hear what's your song that p helped you push through a dark time in your, uh, in your life. Please leave it in the comment section down below, because I would love to hear that. There is no wrong song. I mean, it's just opinion.
So he's currently third place. Ah, uh, poor Pikichi. Oh, now we're gonna see Chris. I think Chris likes Victor, maybe. That's a possibility. He's jealous of Yuri taking Victor away from him. Excuse me, guys. But I don't want to lose to you, Yuri. So... Ooh! So he has a similar... Theme... To Yuri's song, Eros. But this one's a little more sexual. Ooh. Dang. Yo, that has to hurt your freaking leg. My knee would snap it there. Wow. <laughs> I love how they're constantly showing off his ass. That's fucking hilarious. That was very sexual. <laughs> A little too sexual. <laughs> the ice looks soaking wet. Oh my god. Like most of the fan base. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like most of the fan base right there. So he's still in first place, okay. That's great. With the power of love. At least it's not power of Nakama power. This was a good episode. I like how it introduces a lot of characters. And each of the characters have their own theme. And their own song. And how they take that song. And how, that re how they represent that song in their performance. It's really awesome. There's Chris. So now we know some of these characters. There's Pikachu. I can't pronounce his name. Who's that? We still don't know who that is, nor that. We saw him, I think he was, um, there's Yuri. Victor. Yo, I just realized he has a fucking lion and he's pointing at the lion statue. I just realized that it took me how many episodes to fight this up? By the way, I am growing out my beard because it's No Shave November. That's an American tradition, so I'm sorry guys if it does bother you. But it's only going to be here for a month, so. He looks so fabulous there, for real. I wish I had those looks.
There's the one girl. Ooh. So, free skating. What does that mean? Is it like no theme or no song? Is it just free skating? I don't know. I don't know a lot about these uh, ice skating references. So, I'm sorry, guys. It's just I'm a little bit lost sometimes just because I don't know anything about ice skating. The only ice skating thing I've ever seen was this one movie or a few movies in Disney Channel that were about ice skating. There was this one about this one guy who quit his hockey to do ice skating, which that has a lot of to do with like I like that that I, that was a good movie that was a really good movie I don't remember the name of that movie exactly um if you guys know what I am talking about please do leave in the comment section down below because I would love to rewatch that movie maybe that will help me understand this anime a little bit more maybe if I do rewatch that one movie then there was this other one about this ice skater girl who went through the same thing as Yuri similar where she failed one time or like one time she she I guess I think it was in the beginning of the uh, movie, like, she was ice skating on this lake, and then she fell through, and she almost died. I think that's what the movie was about. Uh, I can't remember. It's just been such a long time ago since I watched it. It was when I'm... It was... It was probably when I was around 12, I think, when when I was watching those movies. 12, 10, somewhere around there-ish, around there. But this was a great anime, or a great episode to the anime. I'm still a little bit tired. I'm still not 100% just yet, but I am feeling better thanks to this anime, because this anime is just amazing. I love how Yuri just, like, he's just snapped. He switched his character, and he's... Even Victor himself said that he's never seen Yuri act like this before. He, he was like, shh, Chris. I'm trying to watch this. I've never seen you react like this before. It's kind of making me proud of him. And then all of a sudden, the way he just did that flawless performance. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. But that was that performance was literally perfect. I mean, uh, Chris's, though? Chris's was definitely, you know, woo! <laughs> he was definitely showing off his booties. <laughs> he was definitely showing his butt out out there <laughs> all the fangirls were going crazy even the ice and made even the ice look like it was wet <laughs> that quote made me laugh oh my god that quote made my day um, anyways i would love to hear your thoughts and your your theories and all stuff in the comment section down below uh by the way a lot of you who are, are, who are, are like saying like okay your theory is wrong and all stuff please you know just be polite you know a theory is a theory it's not, it doesn't have to be 100 percent right i mean you can state why you think it's not right i mean that's perfectly fine but just don't discard it like that and don't you know just be nice to each other that's just what i want just be nice to each other you know respect each other you know obviously it's just a theory um it's not like it's not 100% confirmed or anything like that. It's it's just something that's out there. They're, they're just putting something out there. I mean, they might not think it might actually happen. You know, it's just a theory. It's just a theory. It's I say that every single time I make up a theory that I I, it's, I know it's not 100% what might actually happen. It's just something I'm putting out there that it is a possibility. So, anyway, some of these theories are pretty fun, like Victor having cancer and all that stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Well, I mean, like, nah, I would not want to see that, obviously. But, I mean, like, it's a pretty out there theory. I mean, and if the anime actually goes that route, man, my heart would break if Victor, like, at the end of the anime dies of cancer. Or maybe if he goes through cancer and then after that recovers through chemo and all that stuff. So, maybe that actually might be hinting something. Now that I think about it, because maybe that would explain why Victor, you know, actually quit. You know, uh, being an ice skater and actually wants to be a coach. Maybe. I feel like, I think the reason why he became a coach and quit ice skating is not because of anything like he's dying or anything like that. I think it's because he found some interest in Yuri when he watched that one video. I think that's why he went and quit being an ice skater and being in competition and all stuff and became a coach. Um, I, I like how Chris... Uh, like has some kind of like beef with Victor like they were kind of rivals I'm guessing he looked up to Victor and he wanted to you know he, he felt like since Victor wasn't going to be in this tournament and that Yuri took Victor away he wanted he, he has some rivalry with Yuri because he took Victor away like that's the whole reason why he was kind of like excited for the competitions he wanted kind of like eventually beat Yuri, uh Victor so there's some beef between Yuri and Victor and uh Chris and all of them there's like some beef between those three uh, I would like to see more. I want to see more characteristics between them. Now, the one dude with his girlfriend that left him, I feel so bad for him. And it, I like how his mind was going between places. He got second place, though, so that's nice. I mean, obviously, he got second place because he put so much emotion in it. He started crying. He started bawling. Um, 
Anyways, we're going to stop talking, stop blabbering. I would love to hear your theories and your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, would love to hear what song helped you push through a dark moment. Mine was Beautiful by Eminem. I forgot what the art of the other artist was. I haven't heard that song in a while because it makes me just think back to that, like, those times. That's why I don't, like, why, like re, uh, re-listening that song. Anyways, I'll end the video with that. If you guys like my reaction, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on my social media where you guys updating in case my other channel does get back up. And whenever my main channel does get back up, I'll start uploading on their on the normal channels back again. Because right now, I can't get into any of my channels because my uh, DBZ Cuban reacts was my main channel. And since I can't log into that, I can't log into all my other channels because that was my main channel. I mean, first thing I will do whenever I get that channel, I'll make another channel, my main channel, in case this happens again in the future. I'll probably make my DBZ Cuban plays my main channel from then, then on. So I could still upload on that in case this happens again. But from now on, I will be uploading it on DBZ Cuban, just my DBZ Cuban channel on this channel. If <laughs> if you're watching this from the future, you might be just watching this on DBZ Cuban Reacts. Uh, so it wouldn't matter to you guys, but this is just about you guys. I will keep you guys updated on my social media, my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll follow you guys. Uh, I'll follow you guys. No, please follow me there, and I'll keep you guys updated. There. That's what I meant. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week with the next episode. Bye, guys.